Hi, I'm Suzanne Silverman, Editorial Director of Commercial Property Executive, and I'm here with Bob Perry, who is U.S. Head of Strategic Partners and involved with all uh, enhanced return strategies for the Americas for CBRE Global Ambassadors. That's a mouthful. <laughs> An important mouthful. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So let me ask you where you think we are in the cycle today, and what's the level of risk out there? Sure. Well, uh, it's an important question. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a baseball fan. I don't have an innings analogy for you. Uh, but I do note that we're almost 10 years into a macroeconomic recovery. Uh, so that is a long time. Historically mm -hmm. speaking, uh, that is uh, on the long end of, of recoveries. And in, in theory, we're due for some kind of a, some kind of a recessionary setback. Now, other than watching the clock in that fashion, if you actually go into the real estate markets and look how tenant behavior and building behavior and lending behavior is actually occurring, uh, it looks pretty healthy out there. So I think part of what we're experiencing right now is the unique way in which we went into the last downturn and the very unconventional response from the Fed and other financial intermediaries uh, has probably the effect of prolonging this cycle a little bit. And if you look at the actual on-the-ground performance of real estate, whether it's our portfolio or others, it's actually pretty healthy. So I do think there is some more room to run in this cycle, but we're exceptionally cautious as we get late, uh, both time-wise and, and cycle-wise. Uh, so we invest through what we consider to be a cycle-aware framework, mm -hmm. and it really covers everything that we do, and it colors what we buy, how we finance it, and how we manage it. So could you talk a little bit more about how you incorporate the economic cycle and the level of risk into your strategy and how you balance the different types of risks? Sure, sure. So uh, really important to remember that as a, as a business unit that's wholly uh, owned by CBRE, the, the parent company, um, our viewpoint is really uh, developed in part by what we see coming up through their macro business, through the CBRE business. Mm -hmm. The sales, the leasing, the brokerage activity, that's a wonderful source of insight for us as we, as we look into the marketplace. In addition to that, we incorporate our own research. We have uh, more than a few dozen uh, staff members globally that, that help us with various uh, targeted research that we do for our investors and, and for our fund managers. Uh, the area I'm focused on is our value-add investing business. So it is really everything that isn't core. It's mm -hmm. development, it's some debt financing business, and it's a very large uh, value-add investment series called Strategic Partners. For that investment vehicle, um, we're really targeting sort of a two to three, in some cases, four-year holding period. So this notion of where we are in the cycle is very important. Um, we can't not invest. Our investors have said, go find the best risk-adjusted returns at this stage in the cycle. And so we want to do that in a very thoughtful way. For us, what that means is sticking to our core competency. Uh, tends to be office some industrial and multifamily investing. We will do retail and some other uh, specific property types in a very limited way, but predominantly office, industrial, and multifamily. And the reason is because those are asset classes that produce good cash flow for us. So the first thing that we're looking for in a cycle-aware framework is that not all of our return comes at the end of our whole periods. Mm -hmm. That much of the return, in fact, maybe most of it, can come from clipping dividends during our ownership period. So that's important income. I think secondly, uh, uh, our cycle aware framework is also uh, guides us as to as to how we finance properties. So we're financing assets again for that base case business term of call it two to four year periods, uh, but we are financing things always uh, that have an ability to hold us through uh, some kind of a downturn that may occur if it happens in two years. And uh, I think the third element of our cycle-aware framework is when we choose to experience event risk in our assets in the portfolio. So we're buying assets today, uh, ideally, as I said, that have some level of income that can be increased over time. Um, we're looking generally not to take substantial vacancy risk in that two or three year time frame from now, a period during which maybe the, the, the macro economy kind of starts to, starts to slack a little. Um, so we're looking for uh, vacancy today, if we're buying vacancy in the portfolio, that we can actively lease up. Um, we're looking for strategies where we can build NOI over time through mark-to-market strategies on rent. 
uh, and we're very purposeful about when we try to take that risk.